Hey guys, it's Russell Holly with Geek.com, and we are going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S4, and more specifically some of the features and software that Samsung has baked in here that really separate it from the other phones that are being made right now. Let's go ahead and take a look. Samsung's latest phone has a few bells and whistles that you're not going to find anywhere else. And taking a look at the phone itself, it runs a custom version of Android called TouchWiz. And you can see it comes with an extra sensitive screen, which will be useful for other features later. But really, the entire user interface is different from what you would expect from a vanilla Android experience. And this is something Samsung has done for a while. Baked into this is just a ton of features. Uh, most of which can be enabled from their top settings bar. and You can actually open it to see all of the settings that are available here and you can just tap and turn them on and off and you know use them as you choose. And we're just going to take a look at a couple of the popular ones. Now the first one that we're going to take a look at is air gesture. The easiest way to show that is when the screen is off. You can actually access a special menu just by waving your hand over the screen and you will get a quick look at your notifications, your battery status, and the time without waking anything up on the phone. You can do it fast, you can do it slow. Anytime you swipe this over, you can pretty much access what's going on there. And that can be used in many different places in the operating system. You can use it to change things on the browser and, and pretty much anywhere. We'll take a look at multi-window now. And what you get from multi-window is the ability to run apps simultaneously, one in the top and one in the bottom. And you do this through this side menu here, and you can take and drag into place, and you can run Chrome, you can run your email, you can run really anything that you've set in this list, and you can move that menu around so that it doesn't get in the way of you know whatever application that you're currently running. Uh, but the general idea is that you can use two applications at the exact same time, one above, one below, without there being any real interference. So we'll take the gallery and we'll drag it here and you can see the gallery loads and it's you know the exact same photo gallery as if you launch the app on its own. You can swipe around and look for images. You can take one image and you know treat it the exact same way as you would in the gallery app when it's full screen. You can adjust the bar and set you know wherever you want you know so that you can you can give focus to one application or another and you can switch focus back and forth if you'd rather two-thirds of the screen or you know one-third of the screen and when you close it you go back to you know the application nothing has changed about the way that you use these apps another set of feature for the Galaxy S4 is smart stay and smart scroll these are two features that rely on your eyes uh, the front-facing camera here and the infrared sensor take a look at your eye and as long as you can see your eye it'll, it'll perform a couple of different gestures based on that. The first is smart stay where the screen goes dark and when it sees your eyes it actually picks the brightness of the screen right back up. Great for if you're reading or browsing or something like that. And the other feature is the smart scroll where you can be looking at the phone and you tilt your head up and you tilt your head down and the phone will take a look at your eyes and scroll the screen based on that. Smart scroll is sometimes affected by the light around you. If it's too dark or it's too bright, you're going to have problems. But for the most part, it works really well. You tilt your head up, you tilt your head down, and the phone will move based on that. It's really simple. You can also adjust it so that it relies on the tilt of the phone to scroll in either direction. That's going to do it for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos and hips and tricks and all kinds of stuff. Thanks for watching.